Hey Style Power Beauties, welcome to my channel. I am super excited. This is a space where we are gonna learn all about life, style, and beauty, and we're gonna be super confident while we do it. This is a positive space, so join me. Best way to join me is to subscribe, like, and definitely click that bell because I want you to know when I put new content out because it's all about you. Hey ladies, let's get into it. I am gonna show you some of my favorite things about hats, but I wanna teach you the very first thing you should do when you wanna wear a hat. Number one, you gotta measure. You can't buy a hat without knowing what size your head is. Hats come in varying sizes. They come in either centimeters or they come in number sizes. And the best way to differentiate what way you want to wear your hat or what style of hat to wear or what hat to wear, period, is getting your measurements. So that's number one. Very first thing you need to do is measure your head. Now, don't worry about if you think you have a big head or a small head. Doesn't matter. You're wearing a hat. It's going to cover that all up. All right. Second thing that you need to do is figure out the brim size. Now, I have some hats here for you to take a quick look at and the brim sizes are different. This one is a smaller brim size. So this one is just a two inch brim. And I will say the larger your brim, the more structured your look is going to be. Now you don't want the 10 gallon hat size that that's doing the most, but it's really up to you. I personally like a wide brim. This one is a three and three quarter inch brim and I absolutely love it. All right, so this is a smaller brim. This is a fedora style and it's unisex. So this is a male hat and it is a medium large. The only way I knew I could wear this is because I knew the measurements of my head. Now, for you ladies who have a lot of hair or in my case, some added hair, Take into account that when you take that hair down or when it's a little slick, that same hat will not fit the same way. But that's okay because they're usually adjustable on the inside. So you'll get your money's worth if you find the right sizing and the right brim size. Oh, let me add, the reason why you want to know your brim size is because different brim size has, um, they have different looks. So you have to see on you what works. But once you become a hatanista, you'll start to learn what you really like. All right, so let's move into the next thing, your style of hat. Now, as you can see on this table, there are varying styles and brim sizes, but they're really all fedoras. Why? Because that's one of my favorites. Those are the ones that I get the most use out of. They're the most versatile. Um, of course, they're unisex, so they're pretty easy to find, and I am very particular about my hats. Now, with this particular style, the fedora style, since there's such a wide variety, there are various ways that you can wear these particular hats. Now, I'm going to show you some of my favorites. Here's the very first way, and this one is called a top style or pretty traditional. It just sits right on top of your head. It does create a shadow. So if you're going to take a lot of pictures, you're going to need a lot of light. All right, moving on to the next style is, let's see, see if we want to change it up a little bit. Let's go ahead to one of my favorites, my signature hat. It's my black one. And this one is more of a boho or halo style. This is a style you see pretty much all year round, but let me give you some pointers. If you're out in the wind, if it's a windy day, you wanna do a couple of things. One, don't wear the hat, or two, pin that hat down so when the wind blows, it doesn't get away from you because if it's very windy, that hat is gonna blow very far and I have lost numerous hats due to wind and I can't always catch them. So just remember that when you're wearing your hat. Also, there are many different insets. An inset for a brim is the different colors that come on the inside. I think those are super cool, super fun. 
But remember with those, you're kind of stuck into certain color schemes, certain styles, but it's really up to you how creative you want to be. But if you're new to it, start off with something solid. Start off with an easy brim um, size. This one is a three and three quarters. So this is rather large for a new person. But if you want to go all out, just do it. It's so much fun. It looks good with suits. It looks good with leisure wear, athleisure wear, everything. I've even worn my hats with gowns and a fur coat. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. So you could try it too. And if you do, send me a picture. All right. So the next way you can wear your hat is, I call this the sheriff. It's a little down in the front. You have to have a little attitude for this one. As a matter of fact, you have to have a lot of attitude to wear your hat. See from the side, it's a little bit pointed down in the front. This particular style looks really good with hats that are like the teacup size or a lot of the fascinator style types of headwear. Those are absolutely beautiful. You have a lot of sass. It looks really cute and it just adds a little flair to your outfit. Now, that is the third style. Now, let me move you into the style that is all about attitude. You have to have so much confidence to pull this particular look off. Let's try it with another one of my favorites. And that is wearing it off to the side. Once again, if it's a windy day, I would really recommend that you pin this hat down so it doesn't get away from you or if you have shorter hair. But if you're someone who has no hair and there's nothing to clip it to, guess what you need to do? You need to wear a headband or a wig band because it allows you to have some grip and some hold and it works out really well. Let me tell you something. Underneath this, I'm bald. I'm shaved bald on purpose and I love it. So we'll show you that another time. But right now, back to the hats. So some of these hats are my favorites. I have a huge collection of hats in different colors, different shapes, different sizes. But one of my number one hats are definitely fedora hats and you can find them in so many different places. I will show you in the description where I purchased a lot of the hats that you see in front of me. Um, I love vintage, so if I don't show you a name, it's probably because I got it from a vintage store. But in the meantime, guys, thank you for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. And I will see you in the next video for another style, life, or beauty tip. These are some of my favorites in my collection of hats. Here we go. Hey ladies, I am always wearing notes. All right.